This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we're talking snow removal, and for some of us, we'd like to move the snow, and we like to do it quietly and elegantly, and that takes us to the battery-powered snowblowers from Toro. I've got Christina Howell. Christina, thank you for joining me today. Hi, John. Excited to be here to share all new things about battery snow at Toro. Let's talk flex force snow removal, because I bet I got to use a, a unit last year, last winter to clear driveway. It became my favorite snow removal method. And you guys have added to the line. So let's let's dig into it for people who have not heard of the Flex 4 60 volt snowblowers. Yeah, we are really, really excited about this platform and excited to watch the industry transform in the snow space. Right. We've seen battery kind of handheld products really are dominating the battery space. Um, their mowers have been kind of transitioning over the years. Well, now it's snow's time, right? So technology has continued to get better. Toro has continued to push the limits in terms of how much power we can pack into that battery. And our true technology and the true innovations are in that battery, which allows us to exceed in those heavy conditions, such as clearing snow, and those really unpredictable conditions such as clearing snow yep. um, with Toro's Flex Force power system. Now, the the main uh, unit that we were using last year to clear snow, I believe, was a 21 inch uh, of a single stage blower that could handle the fluff easily, but it could handle wet snow, which was really impressive. Yeah, there's a lot of on the 60 volt um, power clear E21. That's our 21 inch single stage snow blower. There's a lot of innovation and design that went into our power edge auger. And some people are like, oh, it's just about the engine size and how much snow it can plow through, which it definitely matters. But when you get into battery technology, you are on a defined source. So you want to find any opportunity to make it more efficient as possible. And that's where Toro really spent a lot of their time and hard earned engineers is on that power edge auger design. And that technology, what it does with the snow, regardless of it being light, fluffy, heavy, wet, doesn't matter. It pulls the snow into the middle of the auger. Kind of like, think of snowball. So if you pack light, fluffy snow and you throw that snowball, it kind of fans out. Yep. It kind of doesn't go very far, right? Now think about snowman snow and you pack it together and you throw that snowball. It stays together and it goes pretty darn far and it splats in one spot. Yep. That's what our auger technology is doing. Hmm. It's pulling that snow into the center, regardless of its weight or its density or anything. Um, and it actually weaves it into a tight braid or a tight rope and it throws it out the chute in one motion, which is why it's called a single stage. And that allows us to be really, really efficient in clearing snow and being more efficient than our competition, which leads us to the one, one seven and a half amp hour battery that's provided in that machine. Another great feature on our 60 volt um, single stage model is the panoramic LED headlights, which are actually awesome. And there's two prong approach with these um, headlights is be seen and see, right? So you want to see we're clearing snow really late at night when we get home from work really early in the morning. And with how quiet this machine is, you also want to be able to be seen. Um, the quiet of the machine allows you to clear, like I mentioned, in the morning or the evening, but it also allows you to be seen by others outside, which is a great solution. And it actually is, what I mentioned, panoramic. So it lights up a three-car garage with no problem, as you can see in these photos. So now there are a couple of different options when a person's going to look at uh, purchasing. There is, uh, kind of give us the different options available for this snowblower. Yeah, so we have our 21-inch um, single-stage uh, model, and the model is the same across three different SKUs. But what changes is the amount of battery power you're getting. And what that allows you to do is set yourself up for future tools. So we have our model number 39001, which comes with one 7.5-amp-hour battery. Great solution for customers coming into the platform. They're not sure about other tools that they'll need, but they know they need a snowblower because they're living in Maine or New Hampshire and they're definitely getting snow. Certainly. There's also a second solution, which is our 39902, and it comes with two 6 amp hour batteries. This sets up the customer perfectly to invest in the lawnmower or future tools coming down the pipeline for the 60 volt lineup because you get two batteries. 
Mm -hmm. So you've got more than enough to clear cars, right? The six amp hour battery clears up to nine cars. And in this model, you get two of those six amp hour batteries. So you're clearing up to 18 cars. Oh, On wow. the seven and a half amp hour model that I was just mentioning, mm -hmm. you clear 12 up to 12 cars. So more than enough for somebody who's got a three car garage, you can park two cars deep. You know, you've got a six car area, some sidewalk clearing to the mailbox. You've got more than enough than you need there. And you can use that battery when you go out to go buy the lawnmower the following year. Certainly. The third solution we have is for those lawnmower customers who have already bought into the platform and they love their 60 volt lawnmowers or some of their handheld tools. We've got a bear tool, which is the 39901T model. And that doesn't come with a battery. So if you already have that six amp hour lawnmower battery, from the spring products, you can buy your invest in the snowblower for a much cheaper price or a better price. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't have to keep buying more batteries if you don't need them. And you can continue to invest in other tools. So as a single stage, uh, it, it can do a lot, uh, a, a large area with the batteries you were just describing. Um, it, that would it would work the best then for like a the sidewalk, cement sidewalk and a, a either paved or cement parking area. Yeah, so any smooth surface with kind of a flat to moderate slope, the single stage is really your best solution. It clears right down to the pavement. John, as you saw last uh, winter using that 60 volt, almost some could argue it clears too well, right? It leaves no snow behind. Um, the other benefit of that single stage, and you can kind of see out there, is people are using it on decks or patios mm -hmm. because it is a lighter weight solution to move up steps in areas. So clearing off that deck and it throws up to 40 feet. So it allows them to get over the railing and into their backyard where they're not concerned if there's too much snow back there. Exactly. Yeah. That, that once it, the batteries, there's a little weight to the battery, not a, not a ton of weight, yeah. but you take the battery out in one hand and off you go. I mean, it, there's a little weight there, of course, but it's not, yeah. it isn't gas engine weight by any means. It's really, yeah, makes it much yeah. moving, weight. I mean, 47 pounds um, on the 60 volt without a battery in it, um, where if you're moving a gas engine, we're talking <laughs> over 70, 80 pounds. Um, <laughs> see, those engines have some weight to them. That they do, that they do. So that's the snowblower. Now, Toro's coming out with something new here for this upcoming season. Let's talk about the shovel. Yes, we are really, really, really excited about the new 60 volt power shovel. And this is a great solution. It, we've had a power shovel corded, as I mentioned earlier, um, in our lineup. And that has been a wonderful solution for people with decks, steps, patios, smaller areas to be clearing. But this really breaks them free of the cord, right. <laughs> which we know is, is going away. And people really want to be able to use this and move this around as needed. But this product comes with a two and a half amp hour battery. So similar to our leaf blowers, our string trimmers, our hedge trimmers, any of our handheld tools out there. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a battery shovel um, in that same platform. And it allows people to clear an area up to four parked cars. And so it's pretty big area. Um, you want to make sure you're clearing on a smooth, flat surface, um, flat to moderate sloped surface, smooth, so asphalt, concrete um, area sidewalks, decks, steps, patios. I know I keep harping that, but that is the number one pain point uh, often with people who are clearing snow because they have all this snow that's piling up on their deck and they're concerned about it in the yes. winter, shoveling, lifting it over the railing. It's definitely a backbreaking activity that it, you don't want to have to do. For sure. And when you have the tools to stay up with it, because how many times have we seen our friends from the upper Midwest who post pictures of here's 6 p.m., here's 10 p.m., here's... <laughs> So staying up with it with yes. the power shovel would definitely. So it can handle, if a person were using that as your is semi-primary, you could, and had a two car or two space uh, area there with the two cars, it could handle that uh, with most. Um, did you mention how far this could throw? I don't know if I, if I, if you mentioned that. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. Um, I th it throws up to thir uh, 25 feet. Okay. Um, and it can, I mentioned clearing up to an area of four parked cars. So, and yeah. that includes your sidewalk, your decks or steps or patio. The other thing that I've, uh, forgot to mention typically on these power shovels and what we've seen on the corded solution is it's a supplemental tool to their main machine right it can be used as your main machine if you've got um, someone plowing your driveway or you only have a small area to clear like one or two cars as you mentioned um, but often people have this in addition to another machine in, in their garage or their shed 
Yes. You mentioned it comes with a two and a half amp hour battery. Now, if I've got other batteries within the Toro line and Flex Force line, can I use those with this? Yep, absolutely. So the, all the way up to the seven and a half amp hour battery, which is our largest on the market today, will fit in this battery bucket. Um, and it's actually what I used most of last winter as I was demoing this product. And it's really well balanced with the amount of um, you know, the brains of the machine are really in that power head and that, that the balance of that and the seven, up to the seven and a half amp hour battery, it's really nice. Um, helps you kind of plow through that heavier snow, helps you get down to that pavement so you're not left with any snow that's going to melt and refreeze or melt and refreeze. This is a great solution to really clear a nice area and clear it all the way to the pavement. Excellent. So we've got options for being able to use our batteries to do a larger area in the 21 inch. We've got the 12 inch power, sh the power shovel. Great options here from Toro. Um, if people want to find out more information about any of the snow removal tools, where can they go to check those out? Yeah, all of our new snow removal tools are on our um, Toro website. You can go to toro.com slash winwinter and you can see all of our new lineup at, all the way from our electric snow products to our heavy duty commercial track models. We'll put those links in the description below so you guys can go check out the different units we we're talking about in this whole series of videos because we'll have more. Just pop out to the YouTube channel and find out more about Toro snow removal products. Christina, thanks very much for your information. Thanks, John. It's been great talking about battery snow with you today. For more tips and how-to videos, go to WeekendHandyman.com.